Hello everyone, welcome back to another remote sensing lecture video. And in this lecture video, I wanna just uh, sort of reiterate conceptually what the point of contrast stretching is. And so in the first video, we sort of laid out that it was broadly this idea that we were relating pixel values to display values. And then in the previous video, we talked about the idea of an image histogram. What contrast stretching is actually doing under the hood is it's figuring out how do we take this image histogram, right? This is the same image histogram up here that we looked at before. Right? How does it take this image histogram and how does it map these potentially thousands of values down onto a display value histogram that goes from 0 to 255, okay? This is what contrast stretching is doing. It's going from pixel value image histogram to display value histogram. And along the way, right, you're going from thousands of possible options down to 255, 256 options. So some things are gonna get combined. So what image stretching or contrast stretching does is it determines really where do we put these breaks, right? Where do we put these ends, right? How do we determine what pixel value becomes 255 and how do we determine what pixel value becomes zero, right? Because once we know the relationship between the pixel value and display value zero, and the pixel value and display value 255, right? We can linear interpolate, right? We can linear interpolate from here to here, make, merging things together as we go. Again, we're not gonna talk about linear interpolation. That's well outside of the scope of this course. We're not gonna talk about any of the math involved. I just want you to understand conceptually that what we're doing with contrast stretching is we're figuring out what pixel value, right? What pixel value becomes, well, that's terrible becomes. What pixel value becomes zero? What pixel value becomes 255? Right, that's the whole point of contrast stretching, is figuring out what pixel value do we call zero, what pixel value do we call 255, and then we, linear, we linearly interpolate from pixel values down to digital values. And there's four, well, five approaches we can take. Okay. Five approaches to contrast stretching right one is we do nothing or the none and this is the theoretical minimum become zero and the theoretical maximum becomes 255. That's the first option. And if this doesn't make sense right now, I'm just sort of defining things. We're going to go through um, two examples of each of these in the, in the next video to really show you explicitly how these things work. So the second option, right, what we can do is we can do what's called min-max. So in min-max, the actual minimum become zero and the actual maximum becomes 255. So these two may sound similar, but in a lot of remote sensing data, your actual minimum and your actual maximum are going to be far less in terms of range than your theoretical minimum and your theoretical maximum. Right. If we remember back to our example with the image histogram, right, we had 
our actual maximum was like 1700 even though our theoretical theoretical maximum was over 2000 so we had over 400 pixel values that weren't being used so this removes some of the data that some of the actual some of the values that aren't being used the third option is called percent clip And this excludes some portion of extreme values. So for example, if we did a 5% clip, the lowest 2.5% of values would be dropped, and that would become the news would become zero. And on the other end, the highest 2.5% values would be dropped, and then that would become the new 255. And again, this is gonna make a lot more sense when we go through um, some actual examples. And the fourth is standard deviation. Now standard deviation is basically you add, so the mean plus some number of standard deviation, you can define this becomes 255 and the mean minus some standard deviations becomes zero. So this one, right? Oop, let's make that a little bit cleaner. All right, percent clip removes values based on outside in standard deviation removes values from inside out so the standard deviation is going to start in the middle and work its way out from the middle to determine what is kept the percent clip is going to start from the ends and work its way in in terms of what is kept now there is one more, I think it's worth noting, and that's um, custom. And this is basically you set the pixel values for 0 and 255. Now this is actually really, really useful in remote sensing applications when you know what you're looking for and you can really pull out um, those particular features. We're not going to be dealing with it so much in this course, um, but I guarantee you if you took another remote sensing class, especially at, at the master's level, you would really start to work with custom histograms and custom stretching. But again, these four are going to be the ones we're going to focus on. None, min-max, percent clip, and standard deviation. And we're going to go through two examples of each to hopefully solidify what they mean and what they do to the image. I know there's a lot here, so hopefully this makes sense. And as always, please reach out. Thank you.